Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Tuesday the 17th of September. The local media headlines today. There's a by-election in Cornwall on Thursday. It'll come just nine days after the government, supported by all four of Cornwall's Labour MPs, voted to scrap the winter fuel allowance for pensioners. Labour is still favourite to retain its Cornwall Council seat in Falmouth, not least because the Conservatives, who came second in 2021, weren't even able to find a candidate. The Greens and the Liberal Democrats are the other parties taking part. Paul Vellon Manor at Lou is facing demolition. It's about 250 years old and has dominated the landscape since the days of George III, but it is now in an extremely poor state of repair, indeed arguably beyond repair. But while some buildings fall, others rise, Prince William's Duchy of Cornwall has unveiled plans for what it hopes will become a new shopping centre at Nansledden near Newquay. And what would you do if you had a huge aircraft carrier but no planes? Park it off St Ives and let people take photos? Seems harmless enough. The BBC told readers about works taking place at the Gribbon Tower near Foy. It's covered in scaffolding because it's about to be repainted. It's in the care of the National Trust and this is something which happens every 10 years. Greatest Hits Radio reported the complaints of businesses at Scoria. They say they've lost trade due to roadworks. The Falmouth Packet had a story about a local student who's now helping to rescue dogs in Madagascar. The Cornish Times reported a new creative hub for salt ash. And finally Cornwall Live had a story about the actress Kate Winslet. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.